Okay, I think I'm live on Facebook, but I'm going to have an echo, so bear with me. I'm pretty sure it will be an echo anyway. Yep. Okay, I think I'm live. Told you, there's the echo. <laughs> I knew it. Here we are. We got it sorted. <laughs> okay, so I'm here. I know there's a delay but I was in pain and Greg phoned me and yeah, so that's kind of what was happening. So I'm very sorry, um, but it's free. So what can you do? <laughs> I know that sounds bad, doesn't it? Okay, I got my light in the background there. That's nice. Um, so I think I'm going to um, start another one of these up. So that, that'll be the next raffle is one of these lights. Um, that's going to be um, one of the offerings, okay, of the raffle. Um, so, because I, th I think they're lovely. Okay, so um, these are only going to be little ones today um, because I have, um, obviously I'm late doing them. I'm supposed to do them for Monday. And I've got some readings that if I'm not too tired, I'm going to do after this. Um, so it's like, um, it's non-stop. It's, it's like promising doing things and then thinking, how am I going to fit that in? I've just promised to do that. How am I going to fit that in exactly? Um, at what time scale of this day uh, that is already uh, one thing after another after another, can you then fit that in? So yeah, it's been eventful, but I'm happy to be busy. Um, some people aren't and you know, so I can't grumble, can I? How can I? So let's get up the the, the chat just in case there's anyone about and, a, and around. Karen, can't believe you're still up at, at 20 past two. You're on American time. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? Live over in America kind of later on. I'm not going yet, but um, oh, it's Carrie. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Tarika. Oh, it's good to see everybody here. Nice to see you. Hi to Greg too. Oh, yeah, Greg's doing so well. He's just so, he's he's like back to his normal self. He's uh, in fact better than his normal self. He's like feeling on top of the world and that's all down to all of your healing. And I'm just so grateful. Um, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for sending over all of that wonderful energy it's been amazing amazing so yeah so how are you all today um what's happening in your lives i want to know so i'm going to do the astrology but i also want to you know do this as a catch-up um as well and also i'm going to be um um showing you the raffle as well that's um available at the moment so I know, Karen, it's amazing. So um, I'm going to be flying over, fingers crossed, to see him in October. OK, so I'm going to be going over there in October and then hopefully he's going to be flying back with me um, in November. And at that point, we're going to try and look for places to to rent um, over here um, for us both. We can start off in my flat, but um, it is it's it's too small, really, considering he's got um, a business and so have I. It's already just about enough for me. So let alone with his tie dye business as well. So we've got to be sensible, really. So we've got to we're just going to have a look around so that he can see uh, what is available for what prices and things. Yeah. Insomnia. Yes. Um, hi, Lisa. How are you? I sent over your recordings uh, today. So I know that you got them because I got the thumbs up and everything. So that's good. And Jeremiah got his. So that's all good, isn't it? I'm trying to grow my fringe out. It's really difficult growing your fringe out without looking like an idiot and that in between bit. It's not good. Yeah. Um, let's put my heat pad on. Okay, so I want to show everybody the raffle. And this is for people who aren't um, necessarily on here today, because obviously there's only a few people here. 
wasn't expecting huge amounts because of the time of day. Um, you know, it's not, it's uh, half past two, near, nearly half past 2 a.m. here in the UK. So, ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, Sarah, hello, lovely lady. Oh, oh, it's good to see you all. And Carrie, I haven't seen you for ages. It's so, so nice to catch up here. That's lovely. Oh. So yeah, I'm going to be doing the raffle. Uh, sorry, the astrology in a bit. And uh, I know I'm so excited as well. Really excited. Um, yeah, we've been patient. I think we've been very patient. <laughs> Trisha's still up. I can't believe it. 2.20 a.m. And, and Trish is still up. So us, us English people, I think we get more on the American timing. Honestly, it seems to be more and more English people. And Vera in the Netherlands, she's kind of living on kind of different timeline, different time zones. Yeah. What's happening? OK, so let me go into. So I've got a raffle going at the moment. We've only got a few spaces left. OK, the ones that highlighted are the one spaces that are left. Uh, the raffle is a pound a go. Or if you're outside the UK, then it's two dollars. OK, um, and there is two main prizes and two mystery prizes. So there's four prizes to this one. OK, so these are some of the choices that you have. OK, if you, um, you know, obviously first come, first served and then everybody else um you know it's, it's as that's how it goes down so first person gets first dibs and then the second person gets the second dibs on the on the main gifts um and then after that it's two mystery prizes so uh these are the main present main main gifts here okay so you've got the light seers tarot okay so that's one the light seers tarot are absolutely beautiful so this is the light seers tarot Three of Pentacles. This one means kind of obstacles that may have turned up. This means everything is going uh, well. Everything's go go go. This means that sometimes we have to be led by our mind. Okay, sometimes we have to kind of look and just keep going into the future and just trusting. And this is usually after stormy. Um, so the Magician card, you know, that's lovely. It looks like you know you're you're kind of um, conjuring up some sort of manifestation here. Okay, lots of emotional choices, the Seven of Cups. So you can see there are gorgeous cards. I've upside down. Okay, so that's two of Pentacles, which is to do with um, training, um, juggling money, maybe sorting out this and that. So yeah, that's the Light Sears Tarot. That's one choice. You then have the Black Obsidian Crystal Ball. OK, so this is the raffle is a pound of gold and this is the black obsidian crystal ball. You can see my ring light there. Um, black obsidian crystal ball. Very heavy. OK, comes with a nice stand. OK, so actually black obsidian crystal ball. Hi, Daphne. Ah, oh, there's my man. Hello, my love. It's your fault to keep me chatting, wasn't it? I'm blaming it all on you, Greg. Yeah. OK, so there's two. Um, where's the other ones? The other ones, the other choice is set of runes. <laughs> so here's the runes, okay, made by myself. Okay, just a set of black and gold, or there's silver and black, if you wanted silver and black, black runes. Okay, so there's the runes. And then the other prize is... Um, these coasters okay so I quite like that side of them really um, but there's that side as well so yeah three coasters okay so they come as the set so oh the other thing is the other surprise is the um, rose quartz bracelet okay I made that as well so rose quartz bracelet with nice sparkly beads in it as well Okay, so they are the choices. Okay, so 
two main prizes, okay, two, two choices of here, and then two mystery gifts, okay? And um, it's all including um, poster packaging, okay? I've been making lots of posters though. Look at these posters, aren't they lovely? So I've been making these ones, quite like those. I've been making these ones, they look a bit cosmic, like a cosmic-y one, so I like those. Um, also like these, it's kind of nice. And this one, this is my newest ones that I did. Look like a slice of uh, crystal, but they're coasters. And I made a little pyramid. Look, <laughs> it's a little pyramid with an organ in it. And I've been making a wand. This is my wand. Can't really see properly, but yeah, that's the wand. So it's got a quartz crystal at the end of the wand. So I've been making those. So I'm going to start an eBay uh, shop. Oh, I forgot a raffle prize, another one. This is the other raffle prize, sorry. Um, so this, okay, so this is the other choice. So Lightseer's Tarot, this, coasters, Black Obsidian Crystal Ball, the runes, the rose quartz bracelet, which I can't see at the moment, somewhere on here. Yeah, the rose quartz bracelet. So that that is um, the choices, okay? So, um, and for all the other bits and pieces, I'm going to, there's the rose quartz bracelet. For all the other bits and pieces, I'm gonna put uh, some of them on Facebook, if anybody is interested in buying any of the other stuff that I've done. Okay, so black quartz, that crystal uh, crystal ball. Okay, right. I've, I haven't kept an eye on the chat. Is there anybody who would like a ticket? Um, oh, thank you, Daphne. I love, I loved making that wand. It was really nice. I think Kate, you won the black obsid uh, obsidian crystal ball once before. I think you've made you've you've um, won that one, haven't you? I sent that out to you. Remember. Gracie, uh, is that your pyramid? No, darling, because it's only little, because you wanted a big one, didn't you? Would you like those colours, though? Because I'm halfway through it, but I can add, I can add these colours to the end of your crystal ball, your pyramid. So I've got probably another three layers to do, Gracie. What do you think? Do you like that? This is one that I've made recently. This one, really enjoyed making that. And let me add these to it. Well, you get caught up. So it goes, it's like a lamp. So basically, you obviously put these in the base of the crystal ball like that. And then I'm going to attach this base to it like that. So that it shines through. So it's a lamp. So I've been making these. So yeah been really enjoying that. So oh. you'd love some to match your your decor. Yeah. Oh, almost bought one of those black obsidian crawl, uh, crystal balls. Need to get one now. Well you could if you can have one as as cheap as a pound if you're in the UK or um pound or it's two dollars if you're outside the UK. So who would like to have a go just while I'm before I'm doing the astrology. I'm going down the messages. Everyone loves shiny and sparkly if they don't. They're <laughs> not right. Well I showed Greg my fingernails and I said oh aren't they lovely and he said there's no sparkle on them. 
So he told me I had to put sparkles. We didn't actually. I did. Uh, so I, I had to put sparkles on them. So that's uh, <laughs> that's what he wanted. So yeah, paid for raffle ticket. Yay! Ah, oh, so are you, my love. I just got it. Good. I'm pleased you got it. Okay, I'll add those colours on, um, Gracie. Yeah. Yeah, you, um, the, the PayPal, let me, oh, Greg, darling, would you put my PayPal details in the chat and the website, just in case they want to pay by PayPal or website? I'm warm. You saw Meg's garden, yeah, I know. So my daughter Megan was on one of these garden shows and um, because my granddaughter, she was born blind and she's got a bone um, disorder basically and she's got osteopetrosis, um, which is very rare. And so um, bless her, she, she's, she goes to Demelza House and Demelza House put her name forward for um, for this garden, revamped garden. And they've really got a small garden. So um, in the UK, everybody knows Alan Titchmarsh. Um, so they, they, him and the team went in there. I think it's called Love Your Garden. And uh, he went in and, um, and revamped it with the team. And it was on TV last week, I think. Um, was it last week? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he's even put in the book a reading. Yeah, is it, if anybody would like a reading with me, you can, you're welcome to book via the website. Um, sometimes he, people in the UK, you might need to contact me directly in order to, to book um, a reading, but it, it is automatically put into your time zone. Um, so as you, as you book, it, it's in your time zone. So you don't have to worry about trying to convert it or anything. It's done for you, which is, Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so Tarika, there. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. Oh. So if you wanted to book a raffle ticket, um, you could either put big, uh, pick a number. So this is for anybody watching this afterwards as well. You can either um, pick a number um, yourself. I'll read them out in a minute. Or you can just tell me, can you pick me one, two, three, or tickets um, and do it that way. And then you literally just go over to PayPal um, or my website in order to pay for the, the tickets. So the numbers that are available are four and five, number 12, 14, 15, 17, 20, 23, 27, 30, 31, 32, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 43, 45, 47, 49, 50, 51, 53 and 54. They're the ones that are left. Um, so if anybody would like that. Daphine, you want 17? Okay, Daphine, you are down for number 17. There you go. Done. You want four tickets, Jody? Do you want me to pick them for you? Do you want me to randomly pick pick four places? No. <laughs> Good. So I don't know where I'm going to start this time regarding um, the astrology. I like to know what everybody's um, birth sign is so that I can um, so that I can start with your signs. OK, but you can also add your sun, moon and rising as well. So I'm going to book you in for number four and five, Jody. Mm. 
looking at Scorpio. OK, so that's a water sign. So make sure you look up your sun, moon and rising. If you don't know what your sun, moon and rising is. Um, so you've got four or five, Jodie. You've got number 27. And number 38. There you go. They're the numbers that are left if anybody does want to have a look. <laughs> so we got obviously we know um, Vera's an um, Aries. Um, so we've got so we've got a water sign there uh, with Karen being Scorpio. Daphne is a Virgo Earth sign. Jodie Libra, so that's Air. Uh, Carrie is Gemini. Um, Vera is Aries. Stormy is a Libra. Tarika is a Libra. Um, some chicken moon pork. Right in sausage. <laughs> That reminds me. <laughs> so Greg was doing his not his usual naughty kind of you know words and things, you know, like we do with banter. And then he opens his front door at the same time as saying something really quite smutty and naughty. And there were people outside. <laughs> I was nearly falling off my chair laughing. It was very funny. <laughs> Very funny. So Trisha is Gemini. See, I told you I'd say it, Mr. Prescott. And lots of Librans here. There is. So maybe we should start with air signs. Greg is a triple Libra. <laughs> I know. So Lisa is a triple Pisces. So Dauphine is Leo Sun and Leo Moon. Okay, so double Leo there. I've got um, what my um, I'm Pisces, and then I've got um, Libra and Sagittarius, and Trisha is Aquarius Moon. Okay, so if you don't know, because you should be listening to three of these, um, you should be listening to your Sun, Moon, and Rising. So that's what makes up your kind of main personality. That's why sometimes you can look at different um, of you know, the birth signs and things. And you think, well, that one applies to me. And so does that one. And so does, and that's probably because um, th that is your sun, moon and rising. So Tarika is Libra with Gemini rising, Sag uh, Scorpio moon. Okay. All right, then. So as we've got lots of Libras, haven't we? There seems to be a lot of Libras and, and air signs. So we'll do the air signs first. Sounds like a plan. So I'm going to put this away, the raffle away. But if anybody um, outside of um, this live chat wanted to add their names to these raffle um, tickets, then you're probably best off. Um, could take a photograph of it. It's going to get very complicated if you pick numbers. So you might just need to kind of say, can I have three numbers? Just mean or two numbers or something. And then I will pick them and then let you know. OK, so that's probably the best idea. All right. So um, put that down there for now. Let's move those over. OK. Right. So I'm going to get on in a minute um, and do the astrology. OK, so if in, anybody is interested in booking a reading, um, the offer that I have on at the moment is um, there is 10. I mean, that's an ongoing one, this particular one. It's ten dollars off any rebook. So if you already had a reading with me or maybe you've come to a class of mine, um, anything like that, then you can have the ten dollars off. OK, um, you can just book that one. Um, I will do an offer. What offer am I going to do? 
Mm. Have a think about it. Have a think about it maybe later. <laughs> I just put book a reading with me. Okay, so the different types of reading that I do are um, sometimes I can do um, cord cutting. Okay, so I did that one today. So that can involve past life recall. So it can be going into what has happened in your past life um, because sometimes there is a residue of that energy that might be holding you back from this lifetime going forward. You know, if there's some sort of trauma, it can actually stop you. Um, if there's any, um, you know, um, any kind of pacts that you've made or oaths that you've made, um, like a, a chastity, if you're having difficulty with um, love life, um, then that can be a chastity thing. If there's issues with money, again, they gave up both of those um, and that can still remain with you into the new lifetime. Um, so we can do cord cutting. If you're sitting there and you're thinking, I've got to make a big decision in my life and you're not sure what to do, then um, sometimes um, you can do a double timeline. So if you made this decision, this is if you stayed and did nothing, this is what your life is going to be like. And we look at your future. If you decide to take that choice or make that decision or pick that person, then this is how your life is going to go forward. So it's called a double timeline, a decision making um, reading. And um, so sometimes you can clearly see um, you know, how happy you are. So they don't tell you what to do. Tara should never tell you what to do, but they can open it up so that you can actually see for yourself, um, you know, the vibrational energy of how it feels. OK, so sometimes um, I've done recently, I've done uh, decision making ones and I'm going through and uh, and we're doing the timeline. Um, if you stay and if you go and it ended up that even if she decided to stay now, she was going to go anyway later. Um, so both roads led to the same one. OK, so um, whether or not she decided to stay or go. Um, at that point, it still went to one. So, yeah, that was very interesting. So I learned so much, even though I've been doing this for 30 years, I'm still learning so much and I'm still learning different techniques depending on what somebody asks me. Obviously, I can't cover health matters, um, but, I, you know, um, any other questions, you know, we can cover. So, so yeah, um, I throw in a few kind of, um, affirmations and positive energies and things in the reading as well so that these work out um, as an affirmation for the future um, it's uh, it's always I mean not everybody's future is going to be wholly positive of course you're going to have bits and pieces that you know are you know testing for anybody otherwise what's the point of actually being here at this time you know we're here to learn lessons um, but sometimes to actually know maybe um, what's coming and to kind of just brace yourself a little bit for it. It does help. So the way I do my readings is I do what's around you now, um, because if that is accurate, then we know that the future part will be accurate. And then I like to do um, three predictions a month. So that's beginning of the month, middle of the month, end of the month. And within each prediction, like the beginning of the month, I will cover um, love life or emotions. I will cover um, finances and the general kind of uh, whatever comes up. So you get quite a lot of information that you can then follow um, as you go along. Um, so that's kind of the main thing that I do. Do one to one psychic development, one to one tarot tuition. Um, Psychic development, you can really pick a subject that you want to um, want to study and we can do that. Um, you can do it regularly or you can do a one off. That's OK. Um, we can make spells, affirmations. I only do good spells. Um, so these we do together. We work it out together. And this can be um, to break off negative energy from other people if there's somebody around you who keeps trying to attach themselves to you, then, you know, sometimes an affirmation or a spell um, can really help you 
um, you you just need to really sometimes have somebody else to to say, you know, you've got the power to do this, you can do this, you are strong enough. Um, so anyway, that's the type of thing that I do, but there's lots of different other options on the website if you wanted to have a look. I am going to be promising to add in more content, which I haven't done yet, um, and I'm, I promise to. Um, so that's sort of my, on my list of to do's um, to add in some more details on, on the website of, of all the things that I do. So, uh, so you need a cord cutting, Gracie. I have done a free cord cutting um, video, I think on YouTube. Obviously it's not the same as doing it privately um, on a one-to-one -one basis, obviously, because when I'm doing that with uh, you uh, and me together, I'm I'm actually cu cutting the cords with you, um, so it's different. But it sometimes it can work just as well, um, you know, with your intentions. There's a little gnat flying about, so I'm going to be bitten to pieces. Um, yeah, so sometimes it can work just as well with me, um, you know, just with the video. Okay, depends on, you know, if you're already in your own power, why not? You know, why can't you um, do this? So, so yeah, there's a few on the um, on my YouTube channel, which is Psychic Alley. I don't know if it's Psychic Alley one to one or not. I think it's Psychic Alley, I think. <laughs> so either one. Um, yeah, so Stormy, your readings were amazing. I will definitely be booking another soon. And my son wanted to make one as well. Oh, thank you, Stormy. Thank you so much. I copy all of the um, lovely comments and the feedback and I put it all on kind of a, a document and I share that um, every now and again so I appreciate every positive comment uh, hopefully they're, they're all positive but um, the cord cutting and he does is very effective we did one with you didn't we Lisa so um, yeah it's um, it can be very effective it's simple but it can be effective I've also done um, how to get rid of negative energy video on there as well. Um, that's very good if you have, um, say if your luck, it seems to be running out or you're not getting very much kind of positivity in your life. There seems to be, you know, a lack of money flowing in or, you know, all sorts of things. Um, there is a technique on there. Now, don't laugh. There's a technique um, is actually called the beaver technique. It's my own technique. And don't be rude out there, people. Stop it. I know what you're, I know what you're laughing, and I know that you're being naughty about this. Okay, but it's called the beaver technique because it's about a river, and it's about a dam. Okay, so get your minds out of the sewers, all right? Um, and it's all to do with sometimes whenever we've had a negative thought or. Um, we're confused about kind of our pathway. We think, you know, the good luck isn't going to come our way or, or things like that. Greg spiked his lip, right, try not to laugh, but he knows. Um, anyway, so what you do is you visualise the, the river and you visualise going back up the river to where, you know, this dam has been, um, you know, put in place. And you just basically take the sticks and the logs away and you then allow the, the, the water representing the good fortune and the good luck and all of even love. You're, you're basically allowing that to then flow, okay, uh, towards you. So, yeah, it's that rather than, you know, other things that you might be thinking of. So, there you go. So, I'm going to start reading now. Um, you can go over to Greg's website. If you um, wanted a tie dye t-shirt, um, they are still, is it $20 off the slim fit ones, Greg? Um, but um, hopefully you can put a, a link up there. So if you wanted a tie dye t-shirt, um, they are there. There's money off. I think he's going to put in a minute, whether it's $10 or $20. I think it's $20, but I might be wrong. Um, yeah, so um, they're on offer. And yeah, we've both got our Patreons if you wanted to join. 
Um, the Patreon at the moment, I've got mystery gifts going out um, to people on Patreon. So they get actually sent something once a month. Um, I, some, sometimes it's things that I've made, that sort of thing. Um, and other, other things is I do a reading. So they get a recorded reading once a month um, on some of the tiers. You've got the videos, um, all the videos and class videos um, are there and you can you can look at all the videos or you've got um, a video chat that we do once a month. So there's a lot on my Patreon if anybody wanted to join for as little as a dollar eleven a month. Um, that's um, OK. And, and obviously Greg's got his as well. There you go. Ten ten dollars. That's it. Oh, they're just ten dollars. Wow. OK, so they're just ten dollars. So they're really cheap at the moment. So, yeah. Mm. So when they're gone, they're gone. Those ones. OK, right. Let's have a little look and see what's going on for next week then. So for anybody in the chat. Um, can you guys put. Oh, I don't know whether we're, when we went live, when we went live. Can somebody put in the chat 3620? Um, if they didn't want to listen to all of that other stuff that's going on. 3620, that's when we start in the astrology. Oh no, that's the point. I need my little book. Because you guys won't know what I'm on. Wow. That's it. I found it. I found it. I found it. Thank you, my love. Thank you, Vera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, look, look, this is really technical, you know. Cat treats. And then I'm going to put the thing on top of here for the, see? All the, all the, um, I'm very professional. Yeah. Look at the energy there again. It's pretty amazing. I've got a list, my love. Anything for me, I've got a list going. Yeah. That's why I'm not allowed to see him, you know, yeah. That's it. Right, so we're going to start with Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. So, Aquarius. Is that better that side or that side? That side. Okay. So starting with Aquarius, let's have a look and see what's going on this week for you guys. Okay. So there was one person who had Aquarius, I believe. I can't remember who that was, but um, one person. Right. Let's have a look. I'm just going to tune into your energies, Aquarius. Okay. So this is for the 19th of July through to the 25th of July, 2021. Okay. It's a good idea. If anybody's in the chat and they wanted to pick a card um, and do this with me, I think it would be wonderful. Um, so if you wanted to type out something, um, you know, if you're picking something up, that would be great. Okay, to start off um, the week for Aquarius, what I've got is a lot of psychic activity around you. And that means kind of those little coincidences, those quinkly dinks um, that start to happen, that you start to kind of go, oh my God, I knew that was gonna happen. Or um, I felt that that person was gonna do that. Or, you know, this person was just about to say that, or you're finishing people's sentences or you're picking up the phone before it rings or a text message comes through, or you text somebody at the same time as they text you. That's what happens with me and Greg all the time. So, you know, all of these things. So start to notice more of this. 
um, not with just with yourself, but with other people. You're both in tune with each other. There's going to be um, a little bit of a fallout, and I feel that this is linked um, to not being able to communicate, not being able to speak out. Um, this is something that I know a lot of people are experiencing. Um, there is kind of a divide feeling going on um, at this time, and it is a shame that everybody is experiencing this. And I wish it was different for everybody, but um, this could be something completely different. It may not have anything to do um, with the fact that we can't communicate with each other without kind of having a disagreement about, you know, um, people who are for the jab, people who are not, people who, you know, um, like the prime minister or, sorry, president or people who don't, you know, it's everywhere. I just what I mean, so there's a lot of that miscommunication going on. OK. Um, emotionally, a feeling of being drained. OK, so you might be feeling more tired than normal. OK, and that's just something that's going to be feel, you're going to be feeling. But a lot of more psychic uh, psychic ability. OK, it's like it's li literally a switch has been lit and you're getting very, very psychic. OK, so that's the beginning of the week um, for the middle of the week. Middle of the week, we've got um, people from the past. Thank you for the hearts. Um, people from the past are coming back into your life. Um, and these people are people that you haven't seen for a while. Um, and it's like um, a remembering them, a feeling of, you know, um, let's talk about the past. Let's talk about what has been, what has been happening, you know. Um, so it's a lot of excitement, energy around you um, at this at this time, okay, with reconnecting. For some of you, it could be to do with love life, reconnecting with an ex or a partner um, that you have wanted to get together with. Um, maybe you and your existing partner haven't been getting on, um, and this is a time that you are basically getting on better, okay, that the connection is, is more real than ever. OK, I can see people needing to look after themselves. Um, like I said, energy levels are going to be really high and then very low. OK, so it's going to be a little bit of that um, happening. Um, so, you know, when you need to kind of rest, can you rest um, instead of kind of filling that time with um, other things that you, you need to do? Because your body is going to go through that. It's lots of transitions are happening. Um, you know, you may get, um, th and this is for all signs, I will say, you may be getting um, more tired than normal, you may be getting bouts of being really energised, then tired, um, there seems to be a lot of kind of downloads and information coming, um, keep a pen and paper um, quite near to you at all times, um, because there's a lot of information that's coming, um, and it's going to be um, and it, it's, it's, it's a lot of changes, okay? And it's to do with our bodies and it's to do with our psychic energy. And I feel that's for everybody, but especially at the moment, I'm seeing that around the Aquarius uh, people. There's somebody at the moment that you're a little bit worried about and you're having to walk sideways around. You're having to kind of like keep an eye on them, um, but you don't know whether to intervene or not. You know, should you go forward? or keep back, should you say something or not, you know, so there's a lot of kind of, you know, the to in and fro in of kind of dilemmas going on for you. Towards the end of the week, there's somebody who is going to be a little bit too outspoken, um, could be you, could be someone towards you, but I do feel that this is, um, there's an energy around this as, is of, I'm bored of you doing this, I'm bored of you judgment, judging me, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Um, there is the feeling of I've had enough. OK, that's going to be one of those kind of words. I've had enough. Um, there's also a sense here of um, a person who is taking charge of their life and of their situation. They're not backing away. Um, they're going full throttle. OK, um, I'm determined. I'm going to go forward. No one's going to hold me back. Um, and uh, it's just go, go, go. So 
there's a lot of determination around you Aquarius people. So there you go, that's what's happening with Aquarius. Okay, um, I do need to make a drink because I'm dry. So I need, I need, I need, I need. So. <laughs> Don't mind me, people. Sorry. Okay, so the next we're going to do is Gemini's. Okay. So, as Greg says, Gemininians. It's not a word, but it is in Greg's book. It is called Gemininians. And so for Gemininians, this is for you, okay? Sorry, kettle's really loud, very sorry. Bit of a disco going on back there as well. As I see Don Aquarius, we're doing Gemini, Gemini, Gemini's. Okay, Gemini's get a hard time of it, I think, you know. Everyone always says that they've got a light side and a dark side. It's not necessarily a light, I'm not saying all Gemini's haven't, you know, got that but most of the time it is because um they just have two two different types of their personality you know um you know they could be really extrovert but if you get to know them they're actually quite shy you know it's to the polarity of their um of their personalities that's what it is Oh, Paige, hi. Just hoping you'll be doing a weekly. Yeah, I'm a bit late today because I'm supposed to be doing it, obviously, Monday. Um, well, Sunday, ready for Monday and the week. But um, I plaited my hair, so it's a little bit freaky at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so here we go for Gemini. Okay. Let's have a look and see what's going on with you guys. Okay, starting of the week, I'm seeing decorating, painting, um, clearing out, sorting out of cupboards, drawers, sorting out of... Um, you know, clothes that you don't need anymore, getting rid of things, uh, you know, reorganizing, all sorts um, is going on. So it seems to be a bit of disruption in the home. Now, for some people, it'll be as simple as going through cupboards and drawers. For others, it will be moving and changes in the house and other people it will be decorating, but it's to do with the home, okay? Um, I am seeing new beginnings, okay, around um, a lot of you, um, Gemini's, because it's like there's an ending and a beginning. There's a time and a, it's like that time has kind of, um, we, we've gone through that and that's finished. And here's the next phase of my journey. Okay, so there's a lot of new chapters happening for Gemini's or Gemininians. I'm also hearing congratulations around you. Now, this can be anything from a birthday, a celebration, an achievement, um, some nice things um, happening um, around you, Gemini's. This doesn't have to be directly you. Sometimes this can be that you're just hearing this um, from people that you're close to. OK, um, I'm seeing kind of triumph, um, winning, um, um, basically getting what it is that you want. OK. The middle of the week for Gemini's is um, links with a, a, a female who is very nurturing and very loving and caring. There seems to be this, this, so this can be a mother figure, a motherly character, or a, um, or a person that likes to kind of um, overly, overly nurture or, you know, take too much of a, 
of a, um, a concern with you, okay? Um, there is a little bit of awkwardness, okay? I'm seeing awkwardness around you. I'm also seeing links around your home, again, and a feeling of going into yourself or not wanting to get out and about, trying to withdraw away. There, for some of you, there's going to be um, links around children, pregnancies, um, and announcements, okay? Um, getting their um, point across or finding out something linked with, um, you know, parents and uh, children. This is not, I'm not seeing necessarily good or bad news, it's just a statement, okay? But it obviously feels as if it's quite a big statement. Okay, um, so the end of the week for Geminians, I'm seeing paperwork, documents, uh, contracts, signatures, that type of thing. Um, I'm seeing application forms. Um, I'm seeing, you know, putting your name down and saying, I'm going for it. Um, I'm not holding back. Um, this is it. This is my time. So you're kind of putting your foot down about changes. If anyone's trying to stop you um, from making these changes, um, then they're going to have a, a very bad time of it um, because you're, you're determined, you're absolutely determined. And um, good luck anybody else who is trying to um, try to stop, stop you. Basically, it's just not going to work. Um, you know, you're, you're standing your ground over a lot of things, actually. You're becoming very um, opinionated and very um, stern. You're, you're digging your heels in, so to speak. There's also a sense of dealing with um, things head on, okay? You're not um, holding back. You're not mincing your words. You're not waiting for somebody to give you uh, permission to do what it is that you've always wanted to do, okay? So it's a, it's a very clear, um, um, very clear line. It's like, that's where I'm going this is what I want, this is what I'm doing, and don't anybody try and stop me. So Geminians, rock on. You, you, you've really got um, a bee in your bonnet, okay, um, this week. So well done, okay. Okay, so what have we got with the comments? Let's have a little look. Geminian, Geminian should be a word. I think it should, yay. Um, I'm definitely an introvert and can be extrovert, but quite shy. Yep, I've been painting my side unit in my lounge for all my work, cards and dowsing charts. Oh, that's nice, Tricia. She's still finished, still finishing it this week. There you go. So that's about right, isn't it? So now we're going to do Libra. Now, I know this is for me and Greg. Greg's a triple Libra. And I am, I've got Libra rising. And so, so yeah. So there was a few other Librans out there, wasn't there? I think, I believe. So this is for you guys. Let's have a look. I'm gonna concentrate. Thank you for all the hearts. I'm gonna concentrate now for this is so the dates that I'm doing this for, just in case someone's come in um, later is the 19th to the 25th of July. Okay, 19th to the 25th of July, 2021. All right. It's a bee in your bonnet. It is a bee in your bonnet, that's a good one. With be in your bonnet. Okay, so for Librans, I'm seeing official stuff. Um, this can be official paperwork, doing something official, dealing with official matters. Okay, um, I'm seeing weighing up two things, weighing up the pros and the cons, um, deciding on things. There seems to be money, um, juggling and changing and and sorting through. Um, also, I feel that there are some celebrations linking to love, linking to emotions. These celebrations can be obviously love life, but it can also be um, a celebration of um, togetherness, 
it can be a celebration of um, you know uh, love life uh, friendships family um, it can be all sorts of things so um, there's definitely a lot of celebrating around there's links to um, for some of you there's links to two jobs I'm seeing two jobs and trying to um, sort out what's going to happen but then I'm seeing the two jobs blending into one or something being made easier okay it's like well that was easy I was thinking that was going to be hard work but it's not it's easy so it's something simplified I think is the right wording for it and it's linked with official stuff okay so that's the beginning of the week um by the middle of the week lovely um we've got a large amount of money okay um and we've got lots and lots of hard work um it's like you know when someone's a hard worker they plod along they get there in the end they don't need to be nagged that's for sure if a job needs doing they'll do it but they'll do it in their own time um, and it, the more you stand over them, the more they'll take their time doing it because they can be stubborn. OK, so this is who is around you or it could be the essence of you um, at this time, the middle of the week. Um, so but there is a large amount of money or a feeling of security around um, and a lot of good harmony. But there is something to do with money and security and finances that's going to make you angry. So we've got a mixture. We've got feeling good about something, but then getting cross. Feeling good, then getting cross. So I've got to leave it at that because I've no idea what um, what else to say, really, but unless I was doing a longer reading. Um, but that's basically um, the middle of this um, next week. You're going to be taking a leap of faith at the end of this month, sorry, end of this week, taking that leap of faith and saying, sod it, I'm going for it. And do you know what? going to work out perfectly it's going to be the best thing you could possibly do um why did i do this before i've just taken a leap of faith i've just decided that i'm going for it you know um what have i got to lose nothing um so this this is literally you're on a mission you've decided i'm going here i'm going forward um nothing can stop me doing this so there is usually a running theme that goes on uh, within all of the readings and all the star signs in the week it's kind of like a global thing and i think think this global thing is all about determination it's kick-ass time it's time to stand up okay so which actually is funny because greg has been putting he's recently done a post saying it's time for everybody to take leadership for leaders to be leaders and that actually get out there and get things done so that's that's um quite poignant isn't it as well um because that's basically what i'm seeing with these cards too okay but you do end with the world card which is one of the best cards in the deck because it's saying things are going to turn out far better than you could have dreamed of okay things are doing really well so yeah there you go that's Librans, and that is the air signs, everyone. So they are done. It's time for the leaders to lead, and I'm not talk, talking presidents, queens, and politicians. Yeah. So that's anybody who feels as if they have got, um, they've got the energy to stand up and speak out. That's probably what he means, I think. Yeah. Um, so I know that there are some Aries people. I know um, Vera's one of them, and it's already getting late. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do fire signs now um, for the, those people. So let's do fire signs. Okay. But then we've also got Scorpio, haven't we? We've got Karen, who is also in the UK. So we do fire signs and then I'll do the water signs. Okay. So there we go. So we're going to start with Leo. Leo Leos. They love attention. They love vibrancy. They love new beginnings and, and adventure. They are looking for something to do a lot of the time. 
um, they've got a lot of kind of energy that they need to kind of push out to the universe. I love you too, darling. And the night, I'll meet you in your dreams. Okay. So, so we've got date night tomorrow. Um, so I can't believe that we're doing date night as soon as um, I think it's only been about 10, 11 days uh, since his operation. It's pretty amazing. He's doing so well. He really is. Okay. Right. Um, I'm going to change my deck. And I'm going to do the Light Seers Tarot, which are the ones that are being raffled at the moment. Okay. So... Let's do the night seers. So I'm tuning into Leo's. Leo, Leo, Leo's. Um, it's Greg's daughter, Brittany. Hello, Brittany. This is for you. Okay. Oh, they wanted to fly out. That one wanted to fly out, and it's the tower. Um, so this basically means that sometimes if something's not um, built on firm foundations, then it's better to push it over or to restart on, on firm foundations. So that's basically what the tower means. OK, so this is let me remind my guides as well as everyone else. It's the 19th through to the 25th of July, 2021. go great beginning of the week wow we're starting off with the rebirth card i even write like this so obviously um in tarot you know that there's one card that everybody fears or well, this i've even crossed it out here um so this is just to me rebirth new starts fresh new starts new doors opening new beginnings um new ambitions um, new vibrancy okay um, it's a, a lovely um, it's a lovely card for you know um, adventure um, that's that's how it's starting off okay in your reading now there has been a lot of kind of a worry there's kind of a heavy feeling um, where things have been kind of getting to you okay so this new start after things get into you, it means that, you know, it has been a bit of a drain um, and you've had to keep strong and you've had to keep um, going. OK, but that is paying off now and you're now able to see where you're where where the pathway is. It's like the light has been shined on the loop on the pathway and, you know, and this is kind of lovely. So this one I love. So the nine of pentacles. So I see this as that you have nurtured um, an idea or a project. It could be a gift or a talent that you have. You've nurtured it and it's actually now um, able to bring you opportunities. Um, you know, it could bring you money. It can bring you expectations of the future, excitement for the future. So look, it's like everything is there for the taking. So it's a very, very good card. OK, especially if you have it with the rebirth card, which means that everything is going forward. Now, this is the card that was in between. Um, and to me, this is where there's been some worry or there's been some stress. But as you can see, these cards are moving from that stress into a much better um, position, much better way of life okay so that's the beginning of the week for leos okay the middle of the week for leo um i can't believe it we've got the world okay so you've got the world card which means a brilliant outcome you've got the victory card the card that says i've done it i can't believe it and you've got new money coming into your hands i can't believe how good these cards are for you leos I wish I had Leo in me. So 
um, yeah, look, you've got the world, you've got the um, victory, triumph, public acclaim, and then you've got this money kind of just dropping into your hands and opportunities and things like that. So, um, so there you go, um, the middle of the week. By the end of the week, uh, the wheel, which means that everything is changing, everything is moving on, um, that things are, you know, the wheels of change are now um, turning. Um, just watch out for the opportunities and the changes that are there. Okay, um, these cards are just lovely. So there's your wheel. Okay, things moving, things moving. Um, and then here, this is, um, sometimes this is taking too much notice of other people's negative comments and fears and worries and everybody trying to tell you what they think you should do and you're going um, you're confusing me now because I thought I had it in my head I thought I knew what I wanted or I thought I'd work this out and then all of a sudden it's, it's just other people's stuff so sometimes it's about try not to listen um, and then I've got study around you study learning development teaching um, it, it's basically analysing things and finding out things. So this can be so, something to do with research, um, you know, getting getting the information that you need. Um, so sometimes we need to look up our psychic ability. So if you have a look, she's actually staring into that candle. OK, she's staring into the candle thinking, right, I've got to find out more information. Um, maybe from a spirit world, maybe from um, my guides, uh, maybe they've got some more information for me. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for Leos. Okay, so close up of my hands. My nail varnish has gone adrift on my hands, isn't it? I'm a perfectionist. Everything's got to be just right. Obviously, it's terrible, isn't it? Wish I wasn't so vain. I won't answer the phone, you know, if Greg phones up. If Greg phones up, I, I, I have the phone facing the ceiling. I'm terrible if I haven't got my face on. I know it's going to be different when we're living together, but for now, I can get away with it. All right. So um, we're now going to do, um, so we just done Leo, so doing Sagittarius now, or should we do, let's do Aries because I know that um, Vera is an Aries and I know Vera's probably got to get a bed. Okay, so it's Aries we do now. Um, so how many more Aries people are out there? So I'm going to concentrate on that. Okay, so this is the 19th through to the 29th of, sorry, 25th, 19th to the 25th of July. Right, so catching up with people um, that you haven't seen for quite some time. Okay, this can be, um, it's a feeling of, you know when you've got the urge to contact somebody um, that you haven't seen in a while, um, it can be reaching out to them or them reaching out to you. Um, there's all sorts of kind of connections and it's like the undercurrents, the vibrational energy of, you know, why we do this, why we feel, um, you know, the need to contact certain people out of the blue. Um, it's because there's undone business. Sometimes it can be um, maybe it's an ex um, character for some for some of you. That will be the case um, for others of you. This will be you know, an old school friend, or this can be, um, you know, a family member that you don't talk to very often. Um, so whoever this is, this is, this is what I'm seeing around you, Aries, is reacquainting 
practices with, with people that you recognise. Okay, um, there is a bit of a challenge that you've got at this moment in time. And it's like you're ready to say, come on then, universe, give me the challenge and I will set myself up and I will do it. I am determined um, to achieve or to get what it is that I need. Um, and um, there's also a feeling of having to walk sideways around a certain person or a certain situation. So sometimes this can be, you know, you've got this sheer determination, but you've also got to make sure that, um, you know, you're, um, it, it's, it's like keeping in a certain um, guideline or keeping into a certain, um, there's certain restrictions around you, I think that's what they're trying to say. Um, so although you want to take the challenge on, you can only do it to this degree. You can't do it past this degree. So there seems to be some sort of uh, barriers or restrictions um, about that. Okay. Right. So the middle of uh, next week, the middle of next week, I'm seeing decorating. I'm seeing moving and boxes or changes in the home. Um, for this, it seems as if there is a heavy feeling emotionally where things have had to change. Um, you know, from the changes, there's a chaotic feeling or a feeling of not being settled um, as much as you would like to be. There's a sense of heaviness. There's a sense of confusion, okay, around you. Um, I am seeing that there is, um, you know, when sometimes you've got this kind of vision of, you know, determination. So once again, we've got the same thing running on with all of these um, birth signs at the moment. So yeah, it's it's all to do with, you know, um, being a leader and, and stepping out. Um, so again, it's up to what Greg has been saying on his uh, Facebook page. And, um, you know, there's a determination and a feeling of, you know, if you don't do it, then I'm going to do it. You know, I'm determined. I'm positive. You know, I'm going to stick my neck out. OK, um, but um, something to do with the home as well. So I think there might be two separate things. OK, so one is the leadership and the other one is to do with home. If they are connected, then I would say that there are um, some bossy energy um, turning up in the home base. And that might be causing the com confrontations and things. That doesn't have to apply to everybody. That can be just a certain um, person that I'm picking up on. OK, so um, there is a feeling of isolating yourself a little bit, kind of pulling away um, from this, um, this kind of very uh, powerful energy and needing to kind of rest up, um, rest your energy. The end of the next week, um, there's a celebration and I'm seeing somebody saying congratulations on the new job or promotion, congratulations on this new opportunity um, that you've just been given. Um, it can be new money, it can be um, financial help. It's coming from somebody who wants to look after you, somebody who is there for you, wants to make sure um, that you know, you've got everything you need, okay? So this person is a friend or somebody close to you, somebody that you admire um, and, you know, is, uh, you know, you feel that you can trust them. OK, is that type of feeling. OK, and it's linked with new money. OK, so that is for you, um, Aries. OK. So we're going to do Sagittarius now. Sagittarius. So this is one of mine. I've got Sagittarius moon, I believe. Mm. Okay, let's have a look for Sagittarius. What's going on with you? And each time I'm reading out the date, it's because I'm programming my guides um, to read for that week. Okay, 
just so you know just if it's annoying anybody me, me keep saying those dates um, that's the reason why I do it okay so it means that I'm telling my guides to predict for next week okay so is the 19th through to the 25th of July 2021 for Sagittarius Put my fan on, I think. Before I start, I'm just going to go and put my fan on. I have to turn the camera off because I've got no mask. Because of my hiatus hernia, is a lot more comfortable for me not to. That's why you only see me up to there. So I will be two seconds. Okay. I can still talk though. So Sagittarius people are very, very sharp shooters. They will, they're determined. They're going to go for it. They don't hold back. That's kind of their natural, um, their natural energy um, is like that. Okay, so um, they're already, they're already predicting that for you guys um, because that's normal to you. Okay. It's better. Put my fan on now. All right, so who else is Sagittarius out there? Okay, beginning of the week for Sagittarians. Okay, a lot of hard work. I'm seeing it's busy, 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 and busy. Okay, okay, darling. All right, Paige. Um, yeah, busy, busy, busy. It's like everything is going full pelt. There seems to be a lot going on, not enough time. There seems to be frustration around you guys as well. It could even be anger or a little bit of kind of, you know, getting annoyed, okay, with a certain person. Um, I'm picking up a person who, you know, when it's so busy and one person is going at a slow pace and it needs to be let's go quicker, let's go quicker. No, they're just not gonna go quicker. Um, so there's a little bit of kind of annoyance there I'm seeing around you. That's okay, Vera. Um, but you know, when your hands are tied, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't, um, you can't have a go at them. You can't um, moan at them. There seems to be something that, you know, when someone's doing you a favor, but, in, in doing you a favor, they've, they've ended up making your life a lot more complex, um, which is, you know, it defeats the object of what they're trying to do for you. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of frustration. Okay, beginning of the week. For the middle of the week, you're going to take that leap of faith and say, sod it. I'm going for it. I'm going to do what I've decided to do. Um, sod everybody else. So it feels as if you're going to walk away from other people trying to help you, or this one person trying to help you and say, I'll just do it myself. Um, because that is going to be helping you in the long run. And you know that you're going to get the job done quicker. It could be that you end up annoying somebody or upsetting them, you know, um, but that's okay. Sometimes that's called, you know, sod's law. Um, so, but you know, you're going to be in a better place. So it's good that you've got the full and the world for the middle of the week. OK. And these two cards you've then got, these are Cosmic Deck by Norbert Loesch, if anybody's interested in these cards. Um, and um, this one is basically um, the Sagittarius because you've got uh, wands, which is fire sign. And then you've got the, the Aries there. OK, you've got the little archer up there. So. So there, so much determination going on. Um, and it's like the, the um, you start off with the major arcana, starts off with the full, and it ends up with the world, okay? So it's actually, you've come full circle. So this is a lot to do with wisdom and being wise, okay? You are, you know, in your wisdom, you've taken back your power, you've taken back your responsibility. You're not, uh, look, you're not looking for any help from anybody else. Okay, 
And the end of the week, there's a little bit of romantic stuff here, a bit of naughtiness, um, mischievousness, um, things that, you know, it's like shoulda, woulda, coulda. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be going on here. Um, but sometimes it's like, well, it just is. That's just what happened, you know. So a little bit of, um, so mischievousness or naughtiness to one person is someone else's everyday occurrence. Um, so you have to put it into um, a line with your personality, what your normal is. Um, but um, this is basically, um, you know, letting your hair down, doing things that later on you think, oh my God, did I really do that? You know, you know when you kind of um, get drunk and you, you think, oh my God, did I really down a pint in front of everybody? You know, how unladylike is that? You know, I don't know what it is, what your normal is and what your mischievousness is. All I know is it's there. It can be sexual. It can be um, fun loving. It can be childish. Um, I don't know. Each one, each one of you Sagittarians are going to be different to the other. Um, so watch that space, really. Um, it's good to be around Sagittarius people because it's going to be a very fun time. OK, going on the end of the week. Um, so there you go. That's Sagittarius. OK, and that's our fire signs done. So sorry, it's just me this week. Um, that's kind of how it is, really. Sometimes it will be other people. Sometimes it will be just me. Um, so Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. OK, so this is for my daughter, Rhiannon. She is a Scorpio. Um, this is also for Karen, who is in the chat. who has got insomnia. Um, she's in the UK. Um, me and uh, Karen used to go out clubbing and um, we used to have a brilliant time. Um, so much fun. So, yeah, that was that was our uh, weekends. So, yeah, here's to you. Now drinking Horlicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's about as much drinking as I do now, really. Yeah, it's just, just uh, Horlicks. <clears throat> so, I do go to pubs, though, but usually to work. So, <laughs> so it's not quite the same, is it, really? No. I usually end up, I'm usually driving, so I usually end up, um, you know, not drinking, so. Okay, let's go again. Scorpio, okay. I don't know which tic tech to use. I think I'm going to use, oh, that flew off. Is my fans going? Yeah, make sure it's on this time. Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to do this. Right. Um, Scorpio's got a bit of a sting in their tail. They can be very, very protective of their loved ones. Um, if you, if they feel as if you're cornering them, um, then they will sting. They will go on the attack. Um, but usually, they just want to get on with their own thing, really. Um, Scorpio's. So 19th through to the 25th <clears throat> of July. Okay, standing your ground, standing up for yourself or standing up for others will start off your week. It will be to the point of, um, of being becoming a battle with someone or a battle with something that you feel very strongly about. Okay, this is not a time to back down. Um, Scorpios, because I'm seeing you ready to, ready and determined to get what it is that you deserve or get what it is that somebody close to you deserves. The star is all about your hopes, your dreams and your wishes. It's all about kind of pouring a lot of energy, a lot of time um, into projects, into a certain situation. And maybe the pouring of the energy is, is basically going into this determination and standing up for yourself. Maybe there's something that is 
that you're wishing for that um, may be coming under a threat or maybe other people are stopping you from achieving that or, or getting what you need, okay? So the middle of the week, um, I'm seeing keys, I'm seeing unlocking doors. Sometimes this can be metaphorically speaking, which means new beginnings. Um, sometimes it's literal for some people. Obviously the readings that I do on here for the various different uh, signs, um, obviously it's not, I'm, I'm having to be more general than I would be if I was reading for you on your own. Um, so, and also I see various different scenarios as well, rather than it just being about you, um, just so that you know. Um, okay, so I'm seeing something to do with heat keys and a house, and I'm seeing to do with, you know, um, your home, yeah, your home base, but I'm seeing awkwardness, I'm seeing walking on eggshells around a certain person or a certain situation. Um, it's like not being able to communi communicate or talk, um, feeling as though you're tippy-toeing around a certain situation, an issue or a problem. Now we've got two kind of home cards here. So this probably is to do with your home or around your home, maybe around a family home, okay? Because you've got the hermit, which can mean home. And this one, she's got a key in her hand here and she's got a house in the background and she's looking as if she's worked hard. She's proud of what she's achieved and what she's done. Um, but then with this card, there's this tippy toeing around and somebody walking away, somebody drifting away from you. Um, maybe you are letting them drift away from you. Maybe you don't wanna communicate. So yeah, so a little bit of awkwardness there. Okay, so this is the end of end of the week um, for next week. So this will be coming up to um, the 25th of July, 2021. Okay, the most sarcastic card in the deck is here, which basically says that you're just gonna deal with it. No more tippy-toeing. No more trying to see if you can make amends or maybe if you can communicate better. There's no more of that. And it's literally, I'm delving into this and I'm gonna tell them what I think. And I feel as if I'm emotionally um, tormented by these emotions, tormented by having to, um, you know, cope with this or cope with that, I'm, I'm you know, and it's like, I'm just gonna tell you. So there seems to be a lot of kind of, um, not sharp words, but very honest words happening um, at the end of the week for Scorpios. Um, a lot of people are not gonna wanna hear what you've gotta say. Um, I'm seeing them closing their ears off to you, but that doesn't stop you getting your point across. Um, they will actually eventually hear you. Now, sometimes this can be the opposite way OK, and sometimes it can be um, that, you know, someone else is having their say to you and you're not listening um, rather than the other way around. So I don't know which way round that is. I'm just hearing that scenario playing out in your life. OK, so that is for Scorpios. Hi, Doreen. It's good to see you. How are you doing? What birth sign are you? Or what is your sun, moon and rising even? Okay. Right, so we're going to do Pisces. Okay, so this is Pisces now. Okay, so this is my sun sign. Okay, Pisces. Oh. Ah, so you're good. Oh, that's nice. So, okay, Pisces. Okay. Right, so 
for my guides. This is the 19th through to the 25th of July, 2021. Okay, right, so um, I'm seeing patient planning. I'm seeing working out what needs to be done next. I'm seeing lists. I'm seeing um, telling everybody else what needs to be done as well. So lots of organization, okay? Taking a, a leap of faith, um, doing it because you know it's the right thing to do. Um, it may not be what everybody else wants you to do, um, but you're gonna do it nonetheless, okay? Um, I feel that you are literally within a project and you are going for it. And there seems to be a lot of organization, okay, around this project. It's a bit like either, you know, I've decided to decorate or I've decided to, I don't know, start the garden or I've decided to do this or do that. Okay, so it's like a big project rather than just a little project. And that is what you're you're kind of aiming to do. And you, you can be a little bit bossy um, when you know um, what needs to be done next. OK, so it's to do with the preparation. That's the beginning of the week. By the middle of the week, um, there could be a pregnancy announcement the middle of the week. So look out for that. Um, now, this can be around you. It doesn't have to be you um, directly. Uh, so this could be, you know, somebody that you um, are very close to, as in, you know, family member or friendship or, you know, it can be somebody that you know very well and it could be their child. Um, but either way, you will be around this child. Um, and, um, you know, obviously I can't tell you boy or girl because um, there's too many. Does that make sense? This will be. Um, how many other people um, are going to be experiencing this? You know, how many other people are Pisces energies? Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Um, they're showing me that your hands are tied to a certain degree um, over a situation um, linking to a your mum, a mother figure or a situation regarding children. And it's like my options are being taken away from me and my hands are tied. And what I'm seeing is it's no time to sit back and say it's someone else's problem or let's leave someone else to, to, to deal with it. Um, it's definitely not the time to do this. This feels as if um, it's time to actually run um, to it and get started, okay, and voice out your opinion and be very proactive, okay. I feel that there will be... Um, an energy of um, regret, okay, if you don't. It's like a regretting uh, feeling. I'm, I regret what I'm doing or I regret um, what I didn't do, okay, more than anything, okay? So that's around the, and it's like saying you feel as if your hands are tied, but they're not, uh, they're not really, okay? And the end of next week for Pisces, is start your affirmations, um, start your kind of planning, okay, for what, it, what, what you want in the future. It's like, this is the direction I'm going. This is what I want. Um, you know, I know what I need to do. And, um, you know, send to the universal energy. You know, I deserve happiness. I deserve um, more. Um, please make, you know, help me to feel more confident or help me to you know, unexpected kindness energies, okay, will be also around you around the end of next week as well. And that will be coming up to the 25th of July. Um, I, I feel as if there's, you know, when it's, it's like um, you've always wanted to do this, like kind of bucket list things. And I think for everybody, we should, you know, no matter what's going on in our lives, we should all do a bucket list, no matter what age you are and no matter what is going on. 
um, because we should all be thinking, do you know what, I want to do that. I've always fancied doing that and uh, this is what I'm going to do. So um, it's uh, it will be something to look forward to for um, maybe next year. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm seeing lots of focus on your future, lots of wishes. OK, so that is Pisces. OK, so. So we're now going to go on to Cancerians. OK. Cancerians. There. OK, so this is my other daughter. I'm Pisces. My mum is Pisces. My uh, youngest daughter is Scorpio. And my eldest daughter, Megan, is Cancerian. So lots of emotions around our um, family. Um, so, yeah. OK, so Cancerians. Have a look and see what's happening with you guys. Okay. So. Okay. The beginning of the week for Cancerians, it feels as if there's a few battles here, here and there. You know, having to having to cope with this whilst this is going on at the same time as that is, is urgent. So it's like um, so much to do and not enough time and energy to get things done. Um, there is a, a feeling of having to be a little bit more um, held back regarding money matters. Okay, so it feels as if you're either saving or you're being um, more careful with money um, than you would normally be. OK, so trying to weigh up, do I really need that? Do I really want that? You know, what, what is it? Need or want? OK, um, there does seem to be a lot of um, uh, thinking about the past and talking about the past, OK, with people that you care about. Um, so it's all about whenever we start talking about the past um, and the people that have been in our lives and the people that have moved on from our lives, either by... Um, not necessarily death, but it can be from, um, you know, different, different, different things that happen in life as we move forward. So people come and people go in our lives. Um, and sometimes it's about reminiscing and honouring the lesson that was learnt um, regarding that particular person, that particular energy. Now, for some of you, I'm going to show you this card just in case, because I think it might trigger um, some people. OK, so um, this sometimes is an amazing um, connection. OK, so is there anybody who has a dog like this in the spirit world or had a dog like this, um, you know, or ha has one in their home? Um, because we've got the kind of puppy and then we've got the, the grown doggy and we've got somebody who is it looks like the same person. Um, in their younger days and when they're older. So this is what I mean. There's a lot of reminiscing going on um, in your life at the beginning of the week for Cancerians. The middle of the week, um, to do with your home, um, try not to um, put too much trust on people coming into your home that you don't know, okay? It's just a little kind of heads up warning that not everybody is fluffy and wonderful. Not everybody has um, your best interests at heart. Um, so it can be that you just need to be a bit more vigilant. And um, because I've said it, and because you have, um, you know, you've listened, okay, to this, sometimes this doesn't even need to happen because you are putting that um, energy out there that you, um, aren't just going to take um, somebody's word for things or maybe you're not going to walk around with your purse just on the top of your bag without it being zipped up or you know maybe you're going to count your change rather than just um, you know guess and see how much um, you're getting so little things like that just look out for people now some some 
people, it, it may not be that they're doing anything deliberately. It could be just, um, you know, a misunderstanding. OK, so I'm not going to say that this is person is doing things deliberately. But there seems to be a bit of mind games going on around and trickery, OK, around the middle of the week for Cancerians. So just be vigilant. Um, make sure it's around your home vigilant. OK, and people coming into your home. All right. Just uh, just um, have a have a little think about them. OK, put that extra protection around yourself. Just put yourself in the middle of a crystal ball. OK, energy. There's going to be talk about rerouting or moving at the end of the week, either by yourself or to you. Um, this person is or you are um, thinking of moving away or thinking of changing your home in some way, changing your circumstances, um, and there seems to be some plans. OK, so it could be that you're planning to to do something else with your home. Maybe you're not necessarily moving yet, but it could be that you've decided right in 2023, um, we will move or um, 2024. This is what we're going to do. So it could be planning ahead, but in a in a, um, a future role. Um, it could be that there seems to be a lot of spiritual energy around you guys, Cancerian. So you're going to be noticing various different things happening um, around you that you are unaware of, that you're thinking, um, wow, did that? Did I just see that move out of the corner of my eye or, you know, um, you know, you might see an orb um, in, you know, flying past the camera or you might see the candle start to um, lift really high and then go back down. And then when you ask it to do it again, it does it. Um, you might be kind of trying pendulums out. There's lots of different things that you're going to be doing um, that is going to be very interesting. OK, um, in a spiritual way. OK. So that's for Cancerians and that's for the water signs. So now we've got the water signs left. OK. So we've got the earth signs left, should I say. OK. So earth signs. So we start off with uh, Taurus, then Virgo and then Capricorn. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Right, let's have a little look. So I'm going to do something a little bit different with Taurus. I don't know why, just feel the urge to do this with, with Taurus. So we're going to pick a major arcana card um, for the beginning, the middle and end of the week. Energy. And then we're going to place cards with it. OK, so starting off the beginning of the week, Magician. And then we've got the Death card, the Rebirth card, and then we've got the World. OK, so starting off with the Magician energy. OK, Magician is magical. It's... Um... Hi, Julie. OK, so this can be magical things things happening around you that are, you know, unexplainable. Um, so that's kind of what I was seeing with Cancerians. Um, it's kind of like, like those um, new um, new beginnings and things with, with um, you know, feeling different energies about your psychic ability. So sometimes when that happens, we have to say goodbye to our scepticism and we have to come out with this, there's no ex other explanation. Um, this is really happening, OK, in my life. OK, so I'm just going to tune into the magician energy. Yeah, magician is all about kind of um, magical things, realising that there's more to life than black and white. There are grey areas in it. OK, so this is the 19th through to the 25th of July. OK, for Taurus. OK, Taurus people. Beginning of the week. 
So we've also got another spiritual card. So you've got the magician, okay? And this is the tarot Lux. And you've also got the Hierophant or Hierophant there. Okay, so these two are very spiritual cards. They're very psychic cards. Okay, so um, that's very apt, really, that I get that uh, when we're delving into your future. So there's going to be a lot of busyness around you, a lot of hard work, um, and a lot of kind of like trying to be very definite about what, where you're going and how fast you're going to be and what you're going to do. Okay, seems to be a lot of that. There is also a sense of um, being blocked, um, you know, how, uh, how far you can go. So it's like you're on a pathway, um, you're working really hard. This is to do with money, work, challenges, career, life path. It's like everything's going really, really well. It's all going quick. And then there's an obstacle at the end of it, or you can only get to this point and then it stops. Um, so it's like sometimes we have to, enhance our power and say to the universe okay can you please now help me um, to get past the obstacle you know I need um, magical help I need magical assistance you know this is important to me okay so it's about pleading your case as to why you need spirit's help um, to get you um, to the other side of a obstacle um, that is in your life usually around money, work. For some of you, it definitely is to do with relationship though. So um, I'll just have to say obstacle, okay, at this point. So then we have the, the death card, which everybody kind of goes, oh, yeah, the death card. It doesn't mean the death, okay, it doesn't. It means the end of one way of life, beginning of another. It means transition. You get the death card when you get married, believe it or not, um, because you are trans... It's like a transformation from being single to being in a relationship. Um, when you have a baby, it's the end of you being one person and you're going into being two, okay? So this is when you get the death card. It's like a, a new chapter of your book of life, okay? So, um, you know, for, for some people, they still think that the death card means death. There are readers out there who will read it as a dramatic um, thing. They'll read it like that. But who are they to say when someone is going to, um, you know, pass from this lifetime onwards? It's not up to anybody. I think it's to do with your, 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 um, your cycle of life. And it's whether or not you have completed the jobs that you're supposed to do here. You know, um, so it's not relevant in any other capacity. So death card endings and beginnings. Um, and then we've got the, um, you know, from not talking to somebody and not being able to communicate with somebody um, and a feeling of that cycle um, changing. So it could be from somebody who you would normally talk to, you would normally be very close to. There seems to be an isolation energy the middle of the week um, for Taurus. Um, so, you know, it could be that you're, you're going to, you know, fall out with someone that, you know, you, you've, your belief systems is different to theirs and there seems to be, it's all come to a head and you're not able to get past it. Okay, so there seems to be a lot of kind of, um, you know, feelings of, of alone um, and, um, and, and, you know, blocks really. Okay, so the isolation will set in. Um, I'm then seeing, this is different to that. So that's that situation. Um, another situation is that I'm seeing you applying, um, you know, putting your name down for something or writing an application form out or doing something um, to do with um, starting up a, a project, um, you know, um, put your name down for a study or class or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's to do with new, um, new applications and adding yourself down and thinking further ahead. Okay, so the world card, uh, the world card, it feels as if, you know, everything is going in the perfect direction. Everything is going really, really well. There's no negative to the 
the world card. It just means that, you know, um, it's all good. Um, there's a celebration card. You know, the three of wands is my celebration. It's my achievement. It can be a birthday. It can be a sense of, you know, I've personally achieved more than I thought I could. And I'm very proud of myself. Um, there's somebody who is either a father figure or a person who is very, um, how do I, it's, it's like they are the boss and you do as you're told and this is the way it's going to be. And OK, so they're talking at you rather than to you. This particular person um, is expecting perfection of everybody and they're not living in the real world. So there could be a lot of frustrations around this particular person. Um, on one hand, on a good day, they can be very helpful um, and they can do a lot for you. But in another instant, they could be very controlling and very judgmental. OK, you never quite know which character you're going to get at the end of the day. OK, so that's what I see for you, Taurus. Um, there you go. So we are now going to do Virgo. OK, so this is Virgo's. Pain is kicking into me now. Um, so I've only got a few more to do, so I'm, I can cope. <laughs> I can cope with it. All right, so let's have a little look now. Virgos, these Virgos like to plan. They like to have an agenda. They like to know where, um, you know, where they're going and what they're doing. Okay, so that, you know, they don't like winging it, usually Virgos. Okay, so, oh, thank you, Paige, thank you. Okay, so let's have a look. So the 19th through to the 25th, of July 2021. Okay. So the beginning of the week. Okay, I'm seeing you doing a job that looks as if you are, it's got to be done this way. Do you see what I mean? And it's got to be done perfectly. And I can't leave it to someone else to do because they're not going to do this perfectly. They're not going to do the job right. So there seems to be a little bit of, it's like a need to get more organized, a need to kind of um, focus, okay? There's a lot of serious energy around you guys, around you Virgos um, at the beginning of next week. Um, I am seeing that there has been an obstacle and this obstacle has been kind of holding either you back or holding back, you know, uh, from you going forward. Uh, it can be to do with that. But I feel that this sometimes we've got to concentrate more on, you know, getting past that obstacle. So I feel that it's like having a plan to get past it. Um, but in order to get that done, you've got to make sure that it's the timing is right to make sure that everything is done um, and to get things in order. So, so yeah, I think that's what all this organization is about. OK, um, so I know that Virgos like to plan anyway, but there's this this obstacle right in the middle of this uh, first part of uh, the beginning of the week reading. It's like this is going to frustrate me. Um, and I've got to get, um, you know, in order to get past that, we've got to do this, this and this. So, um, so there and um, a bit of spending out to do. OK, so everybody spends out, but this would have to be something more than your normal. OK, spending. Um, so this is around the middle of the week for Virgo. So um, this this spending, it's not like you guys to just spend just because usually there's a there's a big uh, project okay or a big reason okay of spending money especially on yourself 
there has to, you have to justify it. Okay, that's kind of where you come from. Also seeing lots of psychic energy around you, Virgos. Um, so a lot of kind of waking up, um, you know, of those psychic senses of those, you know, of that, I just knew, I just knew this was gonna happen, or I felt your energy, or, you know, this seems to be um, the right way forward. Is there's, it's like um, trusting your intuition, okay? Um, and that's what I'm seeing at the beginning of the week through to the middle of the week for you, um, Virgos. Um, there's a lot of boundaries that you are setting up as well um, with people that aren't necessarily, um, you know, it's like they, they keep overstepping the mark um, and that's because they, they take you for granted or they um, have got no um, depth to them. They don't understand that that's bad behavior or why are they doing this or this? You know, they don't question it. They just, um, they can be quite overpowering. Now, I feel that there is somebody from your past that is going to be around you that is going to be um, noticing that people have been taking you for granted or doing things that they, um, you know, they feel that you you shouldn't be treated um, this way, you know. So they're, they're looking into things from a different angle and they're showing to you that actually, really, you should be treated with more respect. And that could be in the workplace. That could be in um, friendships or family members. Either way, um, there is a need to get the boundaries set up and to start saying no or to start to um, be honest with, um, with what people are asking of you and what you are capable of doing or want to do. OK. Um, OK, so that is the middle of the week and then the end of the week. The end of the week, we've got um, a little bit of worry um, here. Um, now, this worry is linking to somebody whose anger levels have been too high. So if you imagine that sometimes there's kind of, um, you know, a person who is always kind of very um, on, on this level, and then all of a sudden, their mood starts to rise up and go down and you know, it's up and down kind of with their mood. And this person is either suffering from depression or suffering from a low self-esteem. Um, something kind of heavy um, is going on. And I feel that this person has been, has changed um, in the last kind of, uh, they want to tell me six weeks. Um, and within this last six weeks, it's like, I don't know how to communicate with that person or get them um, back onto, you know, their happy-go-lucky kind of um, personality. It could be they're going through some grief. It could be they're going through some, um, you know, um, a feeling of being let down. Does that make sense with within their um, family or within their friends? Okay. Um, this is going to be short-lived, though. I do feel as if you will be able to get through. Um, to them it's okay so um, I feel that there is a need to kind of put up some sort of um, you know this is this is acceptable behavior this is not um, you know I know that you're not feeling great but um, your mood is upsetting the people around you um, or it's upsetting me watching you um, so I need you to start helping yourself. So there seems to be some boundaries put up and some help given, okay, at this particular point to this person very close to you. Um, and I'm also seeing some sort of getting involved in decorating or changes in the house. So there's a lot of these signs that I'm seeing decorating and changing. Maybe it's just kind of in the air. Um, that this is what people do uh, at this time of year. I don't know. But I'm definitely seeing kind of the decorating changes, moving furniture around, um, moving rooms around even. OK, so that's kind of like a global thing. There you go. Oh, what did Doreen say there? Doreen, uh, um, all it looks like living in a video game and I am the control of my game. 
also trees glass it's just a screen I'm looking at it's gotten so extreme where I feel I'm falling out of this reality that's very interesting that you're saying that Doreen because there there is a lot of um you know Doreen Virtue not Doreen Virtue um what's her name Dolores Dolores Cannon said about the two earths and the merging and there are people that are awake, awake who are feeling a little bit like that, like there's a phasing, does that make sense, in and out of the reality? Do you see what I mean? It's like sometimes it's like, you know, you feel as if you're in control and then another time you feel as if, what just happened then? Um, you know, I forgot my own name or I forgot this or just what I mean, it's like we're shifting. Does that make sense? So I feel the ascension is actually happening, okay, at this moment in time um, and around us all, okay? We are going into that transition stage. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, it is about people who are awake and people who are not awake. Um, even people who are a little bit awake are still not going to connect. Does that make sense with it? Now, I'm not sure I believe that we're going to be ascending and leaving anyone behind as such. Um, it's more to do with, not as in physically, I mean, it's more to do with emotional, I think. It's not being able to be around emotional people um, who aren't understanding this way of life. It, it, that's what it feels like. Um, thank you so much. Another week of transformation. Yes, Paige. Yep. Doreen said it's crazy but great in the same time yeah it is a it's, it's a weird feeling it's a very weird, weird feeling and I wanted to talk about this so I'm glad you brought that up um because Greg's been thinking of it the other day the other day um he actually forgot the the color purple who forgets the color especially purple um being a spiritual color third eye kind of energy it's like that's really really odd um so yeah um there was a lot going on there um so i think we're all going through this transition okay so here is capricorn okay so capricorns this is for you okay so capricorns we are able to navigate our own fields. Yeah, I think we are more in control than we realize, definitely. And, um, but equally every now and again, we've got this kind of, our mind is kind of, it's like a deja vu, but opposite. Do you see what I mean? It's like, instead of remembering um, things and thinking, oh, I've done that before. It's kind of like this, I don't remember ever doing that, even though we've just done it or we've, we've, yeah, it's the opposite to it. Okay, going on. Yeah. Okay, let's cross that out. So Capricorns, and this is the last astrology sign. Okay, so let's have a little look. Right, so 19th through to... 25th of July. Okay. Okay, the beginning of the week, there's going to be a lot of talk about a mother, motherly energy, mother character. Um, there's talks about having to get um, things, it's like realigned new rules put down or putting up some rules and regulations feeling as though sometimes we've we're kind of getting out of control um, with people close to us who are taking um they're taking the the mickey out of us and i think in america you don't know the the word mickey um i'm just gonna have to swear then taking the p out of us um, some people over over um, overstretch the the boundaries and they overstep them. They they shouldn't. It's like you shouldn't be doing that. It's not appropriate, but they're doing it anyway. So there's a little bit of kind of needing to um, 
set up new boundaries and to, to get people to understand that you no longer like that treatment or you no longer like somebody interfering like that. So yeah, it's all about keep, kind of getting that balance um, right. Um, there is a sense of, um, you know, having to do this delicately or carefully because not wanting to upset uh, the people that we love and we care for um, at, at the same time, okay? By the middle of the week for Capricorns, um, looking right ahead of you and saying, I'm going for it, I've decided, I'm not holding back anymore, I've got nothing to hold back for, um, this is it. This is going to lead you to um, all of your emotions rising to the surface and all of those feelings becoming very uh, positive from feeling in doubt to very focused, overflowing of love, okay, around you, overflowing of love of yourself and, and saying, I know I'm a, I'm a good person, I know who I am, if people out there don't get me or don't love me or don't like me, it's okay. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, it is what it is. So sometimes it's an acceptance of your personality, um, acceptance of your belief systems and acceptance of your point of view, okay? And other people having to learn to understand that um, you're not gonna back down just to please other people. Um, that, you know, this is, this is who you are. Um, and people just have to get used to that, you know, as long as nobody's being rude and um, nobody's belittling anybody else, then aren't we all allowed to have um, difference of opinion? Okay, there's gonna be lots of study, learning and development um, around you guys, around you Capricorns. Uh, researching, looking into things, looking into, um, you know, maybe learning new skills or finding out things that you've always wanted to find out. Um, there's going to be a lot of kind of old uh, people from the past are going to be contacting you again. So this is another theme that's run through um, most of the readings again, um, it is all to do with people from the past communicating from the past, uh, talking to people that you haven't seen for a long time. Um, it's, it's like reacquaintancing um, with, with uh, now if we are getting back in touch with people that we haven't seen for a while, is there a lesson? Is there something that we need to clear up or find out about? You know, because, you know, what is it about that person and why now? OK, um, so, you know, try and understand maybe a little bit more of, you know, timings and people and things that are happening. Try and see see what else is going on. OK, with that. But uh, yeah, the, the lessons that you're learning at the end of this next week are going to be very, very poignant and very, very relevant uh, to your future. So. This is um, going to be a very eye-opening um, week for you guys, um, for Capricorns, because um, it's all to do with kind of going deep within yourself um, into your soul energy and saying, hi, I love you and we're doing well and we're going to carry on being our true selves. And if people don't like it, then we're going to stand tall in our energy and say, I can't change me and I'm not going to, and I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to hold back either. I'm not going to hold back and pretend to be um, what everybody else wants. I'm not a sheep. I'm a leader in my own right. Okay. So there's a lot of kind of positive and very energized um, statements going on. Um, and that will be around Capricorns. And I would say I want to include most of the signs with that. It's about um, shining brightly um, your true self and not manipulating it or holding back just because you think someone else isn't going to like it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm feeling with everybody. Okay, so I'm rocking. I'm aware I'm rocking. 
I'm rocking because the pain ties, but I'm going to go now. Um, it's been lovely. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm, you know, very surprised that um, people have done that still from the UK. I wasn't expecting it. Um, but um, I was going to do another reading, um, like a private reading. I just don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, so it may have to be tomorrow because my pain levels are up to about an eight. Um, so yeah, not, not able to. So uh, I just hope people understand I have to work around my, my own limits. Okay. Um, thank you everybody and love to you all. And um, I will speak to you soon. Uh, what's going on this week? Um, what day is it today? Is it Monday? Yeah, Monday. So I did a class tonight. That was wonderful. And um, tomorrow, got another class tomorrow. It's practice readings, okay? Practice readings. So um, you can either come into the class if you want to um, and just see what, see what you feel. Um, you can um, come and have readings if you want. Um, we need people to practice on. Um, it is five pounds. If anybody wants to join in, five pounds or it works out around seven dollars if anybody would like to join us tomorrow. Um, I do say that if people haven't got the money, then I'm happy with donations or if, if not, I'm happy with whatever. OK, or just come. You know, um, I definitely don't do uh, classes for um, money because, as you know, it's very, very low price. And, you know, sometimes there's three or four people in the class. So I do it for the love of doing it, for the love of, um, of teaching people and for people to gain more confidence. So if they want to change their career, if they want to do something more, okay with their psychic side then they've got that option um so um that's kind of that's kind of it so um yeah i will put i think i've already put the zoom link um on facebook if i haven't i'm going to do it okay so i'll put the in fact i won't put the zoom link if you're in i'll put the details down only because we've been getting a lot of plebs um trying to crash the party so um, what I'm going to do is people will have to register first. Does that make sense if they want to come to these classes? Um, and then um, I can then send the link off. OK, so anyway, um, take care and uh, bye for now. Bye bye.